Okay, you um guys, um I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make a leopard gecko hide. I don't have it at the time, but I'm going to be getting one. I'm gonna be getting a 10 gallon tank this size. Obviously I have an Eastern Prince lizard in this tank. I'm gonna be putting it up there. Um and yeah, I got a American Bullfrog in there. Two frogs in there. And two anoles in here. Anoles. A green anole, which just jumped up there. <clears throat> and a Bahamas anole. <clears throat> Don't know where he is at the time. Didn't look. But he's obviously in here somewhere. Not nowhere far. He's his little spot in that hole right there. Normally. That's where he goes off. It's fun. It's funny. Um, if you see him on camera, then okay, you saw him, but you you'll see him in my other videos. Okay, so I'm gonna be getting a ten gallon tank, and I don't know yet. I'm still gonna be looking at videos and all that, and comment and tell me if I should get Repti carpet or Eco Earth. I'd say Eco Earth, but I see so many videos with um. Reptile carpet. So, okay, what we're gonna do. I've been looking at videos and seeing. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off the lid. Okay? This is just a normal pet smart thing that um when you buy your leopard gecko or your lizards from Pet Smart, you can get this. Anything that needs a moist box or yeah, whatever could would use this. So I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand, but I will try. Let me try and set it up. Okay, well that should be good. So what you're going to do, is you're going to take this, and you're going to cut it. Wherever you want, top or the side, but I say the side, only because, um... That's where they, I'd say, like to go. You'd probably want a marker, too. I'm going to go get, hold on. A marker just to mark it off, but, I don't know, I'm just finding one in my room. Um, play it right here. Mm-hmm. Actually, I might, you see this square here? I'm probably going to put it around there. A little bit smaller than that. So I don't need a mark, exactly. But, if you need something to start off, like get a pin or something like that, because it could be hard to get. Okay, I got it. Sort of. Kind of broke at the bottom, but still work. You know what? Hold on. I might have to use the second one I have. Um, but yeah, because I think I might have messed it up. I'm gonna just cut it, cut it out, cut out the square you draw, drew or whatever, whatever you did. Uh, it's not as easy as it really looks. To tell you the truth. It's not that easy to cut these kind of containers because it breaks. So I think I might have ruined this container. Yeah. And um, um mm, the only thing is that there's a sharp edge there. If you have any sharp ends at the, ends at the end, you can get tape, or you can get a match and go around it. It'll take all that off. Or you can take a, um, um, a, you can take tape and put it on the edges. I'm just going to get a pencil to start me off, because I don't want to do what I did last time, and break it. But... Got it. There you go. So, then you make that hole there, and then you're going to take your scissors, go on it, and 
Whoops. It's a good thing I'm cutting that out. Because I just messed it up there. Um, just gonna cut it all out. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do it a little bit smaller than I did on the one I messed up on. I don't like it that big. I just, eh, it's not gonna be a big gecko for a while anyway. And then by then, I'm gonna make a new one, so it won't matter. I'm gonna get a new container, make it out of something even better, and, you know, do whatever I need to. But, there you go. That's about the size I need. And you're also going to need a um, spray bottle and moss or paper towels. I can, I would say moss. Or, ah, oh, crap, that sucks. Um, or you can use moss and paper towel, but I don't know. Like, you put down the moss and put the paper towel over it. You can do that too, but I don't really because I don't even have my gecko yet. Tell you the truth, I don't even have it yet. Um, that's pretty good. I might put a little bit more though, just because. No, no, wait, that looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's about the size you need. That size. And you're gonna put in your lid. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the holes in the lid because this comes with holes, as you can see, holes. Um, that's. Well, so the gecko, the things can breathe on their way home and stuff, but I'm going to tape it up. It'll keep humidity in, and other, like, it'll keep the humidity in, because that's what this is all made for, and if it doesn't have humidity in, then what's the point? Alright, well, I'll be right back. I need to go get tape. Okay, well, I'm back. Huh. Right, so, I'm going to take your tape. Just normal clear throw tape. So I can still see out of. Eh. Give them a nice little moist box. Um, tape them individually. Because it's kind of on a slant. And you're going to want the most... You're going to want the whole part of the um hole covered at least I would and I know I do and to do just yeah I'd say you want it to live you bought it and not even if you just bought it if you found one too you're still gonna want it to live because out in where they live they get all the stuff they need themselves when they're in a cage, you're giving them it, and they know it once they get used to it. So, they become part of that. And then you just have to take care of them, obviously. <laughs> well, so. Alright, well, I'm almost done with the holes here. Works out pretty good, though. I mean, I... People use other kind of containers like Cool Whip or Glade, Ziploc, like other kind of containers like that. You get these for free when you get, the, at least at PetSmart, you get these for free when you buy them. So, why not get, use this instead of having to go buy some Cool Whip, unless you already have it or something like that. That's different, but, and then you have to clean it out and all that stuff, so I wouldn't. That's just why I don't use it, is because you'd have to clean it out and all that crap, which isn't, it's going to take a lot longer to make sure there's nothing in it. And well, that's about done. As you can see, the holes are covered. Um, I'm going to cover them from the inside and the outside, uh, just to make sure that no humidity, none, gets out from the top. 
because it's obviously going to rise when there's so much in there. So, mm, give them the best they can by doing this. Yeah. All the lead I'm getting here right now is from my Eastern Friends Lizard, so I can 